Japan is extending the evacuation zone around the Fukushima nuclear plant because of increased radiation. The news comes as ceremonies have been held to commemorate one month since the earthquake and tsunami devastated the country's northeast coast. Survivors now living in shelters because their homes were destroyed observed a minute silence marking the moment the quake struck. The government says it's expanding the evacuation zone around Fukushima beyond the current 20-kilometer radius to include areas where higher radiation has been detected. One village affected is 40 kilometers from the plant. A senior nuclear safety official has apologized for the worry and inconvenience caused by the radiation spill. The disasters have left nearly 28,000 people dead or missing, 150,000 are homeless. Many people have been returning to houses that are still standing to collect belongings before demolition workers move in. The mission of these workers was to salvage furniture for an old woman, her wedding present from decades ago. Hey YouTube, Freedom for Cash here. Hey everyone, how you doing out there? I hope you're doing well. I'm sure you noticed I was gone for the weekend, and uh, <clears throat> I hope everyone had a good weekend. But I know there were some major storms coming through the area all the way from Texas to Michigan, and I know there were quite a few tornadoes that uh, were around the country, so I hope uh, that everyone made it through, although I know there was some major damage, but... Uh, I kind of took the weekend off. It was my birthday yesterday. It was definitely a blue pill day. And uh, I'm sure you noticed I was gone for the weekend. I didn't make any videos and didn't really comment on too many videos. I just kind of took the weekend off. It was my birthday, like I said. And I want to thank everyone for the birthday wishes. I received many, many, many birthday wishes. And I want to thank each and every one for sending me a birthday wish. But now here it is, it's Monday, so it's back to the red pill day. And, uh, you know, they are now saying that the Japan Fukushima problem is equal to Chernobyl. They've just come out today, April 11th, to say that. And uh, we've all known since a couple weeks back just how bad it's been. You know, you people got to remember... The media doesn't have to report everything that's going on. There's no law that says the media has to report each and every detail about what's going on. Okay? So, like I said, we've we've all known that this has been a Chernobyl event for quite some time now. And as always, the links will be underneath. You know, it's just... Um, it's just kind of crazy how this is all going on, and yet another earthquake happened again. Um, I want to say it was like a 6.1 or something. I I don't have it in front of me, but I know they had another earthquake over there. I just don't know when it's going to end, people. I mean, seriously, I I, I, I honestly, I just, I just don't know when it's going to end. Now, as far as the Fukushima plants go, um, you know, they're sending this huge cement mixer over there. And it was the one that they used on Chernobyl. But you people have to remember, just because they, they bury it in cement, that's not the answer, okay? That, that's a temporary answer. That is not the final end-all to the problem. It's not. It's 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 a delay for what's to come further on down the road, okay? But the damage has already been done to the Pacific Ocean and to all of Japan. I mean, Japan is just going to turn into a wasteland, you know. As always, the links will be underneath. But you know, now now it's been reported that there's been. Uh, Cesium found in uh, milk, and it's been found in uh, Hawaii, in Vermont, in Arkansas, in California. And they're saying that um, the cows ate the grass, and the grass was infected with the cesium, so, or cesium, however you say that. But anyway, it's just amazing to me. Links will be underneath. I got some great links here. 
I don't know what's going on, people. You know, I took the weekend off, and I just had to get away, and I really just wanted to enjoy my birthday, and I really did. And again, thank you, everyone, for the birthday wishes, but here it is, right back to the grindstone. I really don't know what to say. I mean, this is, this is, I, I, I said this from day one. This is going to be a world event. This Fukushima and the other nuclear power plants that are damaged. This will be a world event. And we turn to an update on Japan, one month on from the catastrophic earthquake and tsunami. Amid the destruction on Japan's northeastern coast today, a moment of silence as workers there and millions of Japanese nationwide stood in quiet contemplation. Among them, Prime Minister Naoto Kan. It's been one month since the quake happened. I hereby conduct a silent prayer to express our sincere condolences for the souls killed in the disaster. The day's reflections were disrupted by another powerful aftershock measured at magnitude 6.6, .6, the second big one in four days. It rocked Tokyo and cut power to more than 200,000 homes. A tsunami warning was issued, then canceled, when no wave appeared. But the aftershock again interrupted efforts to cool the crippled reactors at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. Workers were evacuated and external power was temporarily cut. In recent days, crews at the plant have managed to plug a major water leak that have sent tons of highly radioactive runoff spewing from a cracked containment area. Less radioactive water was dumped directly into the Pacific Ocean, though that was finally stopped today. Government officials also added five more communities to the evacuation zone to prevent long-term radiation exposure. Spokesman Yukio Edano said the zone could be expanded further. At present, we have requested people to stay outside a 20-kilometer radius of the damaged Fukushima nuclear plant. However, if the radiation situation worsens in any way, we will review that limit of 20 kilometers. The U.S. and other nations have told their citizens in Japan to stay 50 miles from the plant. Meanwhile, the month-long search for bodies continued today. More than 13,000 are confirmed dead, 14,000 more remain missing, and many may never be found. In Kesenuma, among the hardest-hit coastal areas, soldiers face a dauntingly large task. We are in a very difficult situation because it is impossible for us to remove the mass of rubble by just manpower, so we have to use heavy equipment, but must do it very carefully. We are trying to retrieve bodies as cleanly as possible. For the living, life gets no easier. Hundreds of thousands are homeless, and home for many is now a sparsely appointed shelter. In one corner of coastal Miyagi Prefecture, 36 families won a lottery for temporary housing. Nearly 2,000 more are waiting, still a small fraction of the overall need. Housing in these units is guaranteed for two years, but doubts abound and fears of what could still happen. I am sure that another tsunami is coming. I hope that the government rebuilt the tsunami barrier so that we can go back to the life we used to have, but I doubt that we can do it within two years. At the same time, there is hope. In Tokyo, schoolgirls from the evacuation zone recently sought donations to assist those in need. And one retiree struck an optimistic note. We will rise up from the devastation as long as we keep the faith strong and everybody works in cooperation with each other. The cost of that work to rebuild and recover is huge and growing. One recent estimate, $315 billion, making the March 11th disaster the most expensive ever.